<clears throat> Hello, uh, my name is Dennis Manitanga and I'm from North. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, my poem is called Mom. Mom, this is your son Dennis, the son you gave life to. Stretch marks. You told me you would never regret them because you loved the way I turned out. Beautiful pain. The first son who you had at a young age. And you played your role as a mother so well. I can still remember tense and he had the sight so breathtaking. A poor country we lived in with so much soul. And your voice made the nights not so lonely. Mom, this is your son Dennis. The son you gave life to. The son who don't know your family history. The son who is losing his cultural heritage. I am losing my native language. So I guess I play my role as a son pretty terrible. Mom, this is your son Dennis, and I am sorry for everything. But Mom, I am scared. I am scared of you dying. Don't die, Mom. Please don't die. Mom, don't die because I need you. I need you. February 10, 2002, my little brother was born. The complications regarding the birth of her second child was unbearable. The nights she went through when it was contemplated if those beautiful stretch marks would end her life. Doctors told my father that it was her own my little brother. So mom, please don't die. Mom, please don't die because I realized, I realized I am selfish. Mom, I thought I didn't need you. On my own I would bloom. You take care of me, maybe I should have done the same. Maybe I should have done the same. And I suck life out of you for what? For me to bring that sleeping bag outside and see my property value go up? I am selfish. I thought I didn't need you. On my own, I will bloom. Mom, you are faced with a sickness, and I can see that. Mom, I don't like your new perfume. You see, I would rather watch you suffocate from a horrible smell than save you. Mom, you are the center of my attention. When I sit in that geography classroom, watching you from 1280 by 900 resolution screen, suffer from complications. I've been here before, but this time you suffer because of deforestation. I would rather steal from you, destroy your beautiful profit, exploit poor countries, and have my father work on the assembly line. Mommy, you are dying, but why should I care? Because Western intellectual is very rare. So let my intuitive mind take control here. Mom, you are dying, but why should I care? When I am in a repetitious cycle, I need to eat, and I know these people need their iPhones. So I will slave away, destroy you, because they didn't promise me fair trade. My kids have to work on the assembly line. Mom, just understand, I need this. Mm -hmm.